in the world and who knows if she hangs in there a lot of the Olympians from that lightweight division especially we know that Queen Underwood who lost her first bout by decision will be turning pro and she is a lightweight as is the incredible Katie Taylor from Ireland the gold medalist and people say there's nothing but stardom for young Miss Taylor but here we've got Kerry Hill in the white trunks calls herself the rage against Cindy Serrano, and it's been Cindy all the rage. Cindy in those black frilled trunks. Cindy loves fighting on the inside. You will not catch her running around the ring. Playing, playing hide and seek. Cindy loves getting in your face, and right now she is truly in the face of Terry Hill. Here about midway through the first round, these are two minute rounds. Here at the Pladoich restaurant in Franklin Square, New York. A swing and a miss with a left hook by Serrano, who is just keeping that pressure on. Big body shot. That one might have been one of her best shots of the fight. Uppercut straight right hand by Serrano, just relentless. And we'll see what the condition is when that bell rings, sending her back to the corner. Because she has been painting Ms. Hill up and down, body shots, head shots, big swing and a miss by Hill. Cindy actually steps back for a quick break. End of round number one. And so far here in round number one, Terry Hill and Cindy Serrano have entertained the troops on a very hot, humid night. Late afternoon, grill trunks, white boxing shoes, black boxing shoes with the white and red trunks. Let's say the rage is Carrie Hill. Cindy Serrano lost her last fight on a six round decision. And that one was back in April of this year. Lost to Michaela Lauren over in Sweden. A six round decision. In fact, she dropped her fight before that on a 10 round, very close decision for the Women's International Boxing Association welterweight title. Carrie Hill lost her last fight. That one was back in March of this year. She lost a close 10 round decision down in Tennessee to Lisa Noel Garland. Very warm up in that ring. Just a few spotlights on up in there. If there were TV lights, the temperature conceivably could be up around a well over 100 degrees in the ring. I'd say right now in the ring, it's probably somewhere around high 80s in that ring. So if this thing goes many rounds, it's going to be conditioning, which will be the factor. And once again, Cindy Serrano in those black trunks just comes out bombing, keeping the pressure on. Cindy known to be always in tremendous shape. So the longer the fight goes, you know that Serrano is going to still be there throwing and throwing. Terry Hill, and that was the same for her in her last fight back in March when I told her where she lost a 10 round decision. That one was in Tennessee. And she was 
this man is fresh at that tenth and final bell as she was when the fight started. A few more seconds here, round number two, scheduled for eight. Here it is, round number three, Cindy Serrano against Kerry Hill. Kerry Hill, 26 years old. Cindy Serrano, veteran, 30 years old. Kerry starting to plant her feet, let go with a nice left right there. Kerry turned professional in 2003, as did Cindy Serrano. I'm going to just check that one more time, a correction on that. Kerry Hill did turn professional or right around 2003, it was actually 2005, so close enough. Banging to the body is Cindy Serrano. Left, right, left, right. She puts a lot of those punches in combination. Rarely will you see her throw one punch at a time. And she is very committed to the body work. You see her banging downstairs with the left and right. And now Kerry Hill tries the same thing, bends with the right hand. But just about for every punch Kerry Hill lands, she takes one or two in return. So far, Serrano eating her up in close. If I was in the corner of Kerry Hill, I would tell her, get on the outside, stop fighting this girl in close. Where's your jab? So far, Kerry Hill has not really shown us a jab. She is willing to oblige Ms. Serrano on the inside, and so far, that has been her mistake. Referee Sparkle Lee doing a nice job keeping out of the way of these girls, but staying just close enough in case she's needed, letting them work in close. And that's one of the things I love about Sparkle Lee. She will let you work, let you work, and even if you're in a clinch, she lets you work out of it. There you saw some punishing combinations by Cindy Serrano and a swing and a miss with the right hand by Carrie Hill. Eats her right hand at the bell. 10 point must system, 10 points to the winner of the round, nine or less to the loser. I've got it 30, 27 in favor of Cindy Serrano. Here we go, round number four. Carrie Hill off her school with a rare left jab from her, but then she gets right back in close, working it in close, electing to fight Cindy Serrano's fight. Now, Kerry Hill may disagree with me and say, well, I'm fighting my fight. I like to fight on the inside. But the thing is, when you're getting torn up on the inside as she is, with no effects, as we can see it from our ringside seat, Cindy Serrano seems to be as fresh now as she was in the first round. Cindy just throwing punch after punch. Her defense is just about leatherproof, not getting hit with many solid blows, and just walking Kerry Hill down. Kerry with very little head movement, ran into a hard right hand, grazing right hand there, uppercuts, body shots by Cindy Serrano, beautiful left hook, that one straight a little bit low, body shots got in there with a right and a left hook, and there, Kerry Hill now works on the ropes, that was her best combination of the fight as she backed Cindy Serrano to the ropes. Round number four, scheduled for eight rounds, eight two minute rounds, here at the Pladeutsch Park Restaurant, in Franklin Square, New York. And we hope you're enjoying watching this on Boxing.com. Around one minute to go in the fourth round as we're approaching the midway point of the fight. Cindy Serrano just walks Kerry Hill back. None of those shots landed very solidly, but still it's been all Cindy Serrano. Another big swing and a miss. Two times with the left hook. Kerry Hill winding up too much with that left hook. She gets back into a new corner at the bell. Ending the fourth round. Well, if you're marking your scorecards, how did you have it? Round number five, scheduled for eight rounds. Cindy Serrano, black trunks, the fully black trunks, white shoes, and back to work she goes against Carrie Hill at a Little Rock, Arkansas.
Carrie is called the Rage, and you can actually see why. She did not come from Little Rock just to get beaten up by the local hero, Cindy Serrano. She came here to fight, and she's losing this fight, but fighting every inch of the way. And she has taken some big, big blows in there. But more than anything, she's getting hit with a lot of shots. Cindy Serrano gets close and turns those fists loose. These are eight ounce Everlast gloves the ladies are using. Our referee, Sparkle Lee, New York City police officer. Again, I'm on this Let Sparkle Lee referee a big fight campaign because I truly believe she can step into the limelight. Hey, we're coming off these Olympics where we watch so many of the females do a wonderful job in many different sports. We saw Katie Taylor win a gold medal in boxing, and of course our boxing team didn't do all that well. Well, unless you're a big fan of Claressa Shields who came away with the gold. But in so many other sports, the women did incredible. Let me see Sparkle Lee, who's quite an athlete herself. Definitely a big fight. Round number five, much of the same here. Pressure by Cindy Serrano. Blocking many of those shots. Perry Hill never stopping trying. And another round, I think, for Cindy Serrano. When we got here today, around six hours ago, it was in the 90s. And the, the temperature was in the 90s, and the humidity was a lot higher. The humidity is still up there, I'd say in the 90s. Temperature has dropped, if you will, maybe to about 85 degrees. Cindy Serrano, Harry Hill. Harry taking several shots in a row and hangs on. This time, Sparkle Lee is going to ask them to break up. Terry Hill still works in close, but then backs out of it on her own. Misses with a combination. I just think she'd do so much better if she'd do exactly what she's doing there, and that's standing at a distance and jabbing. They are both about the same size and height at about 5'6", but Terry Hill seems to have a little bit longer reach. And even if she doesn't, she does have a decent jab, and she's not using it there. You saw her use her jab again. But then she just elects to stand right in front of Serrano. jabs by Serrano, then she pumps out a harder one. More or less just range fighters, then she gets underneath some shots from Kerry Hill. Then there's that tight defense by Cindy Serrano. Hooks off a jab. That's a very smart, educated jab by Serrano. One of our great sponsors, Westbury Chrysler Jeep. When you're looking to get yourself a car, buy a car, lease a car, rent a car, one place you do want to go is Westbury Chrysler Jeep. They are pros all the way. It is round number seven. Lady in white trunks, Perry Hill out of Little Rock, Arkansas, and Cindy Serrano out of Brooklyn, New York. In those fancy black Philly trunks. Cindy just tattooing Hill on the inside with combinations. Now many of those 
shots on the combinations are being blocked on the gloves of Perry Hill. And there she does a little shoe shine on the inside. Not much on those shots, and then she eats a few more as she walks in. Back to the center of the ring. And some of the steam seems to be coming off the punches of Cindy Serrano on the inside. You got to remember the humidity in the high 90s here tonight in Franklin Square, Long Island. Temperature around 85 degrees, and again, that humidity is a telling factor. Two minute rounds. This is the next to last round. One more to go in this WIBA lightweight title match. Humidity. And Cindy Serrano doesn't seem like she's going to wilt, but I will tell you this, over the last two rounds, much of the steam has come off her punches, and once again, she's got her back to the ropes. I'm sure her legs are feeling it now. As Carrie Hill, 26 years old, just doesn't stop trying. And I must tell you, there are fighters with bad records, good fighters with bad records, and bad fighters with good records. Kerry Hill is a good fighter with a bad record. How she ever got to 4 and 22 is beyond me. At no point has she ever looked to just get out of this fight. And in the first round, especially when Cynthia Serrano had a full tank of gas, Kerry Hill was hurt in the opening moments of the fight. If you could have just stopped the action right there, I was certain she was not going to make it much further. Here we are, eighth and final round, and that young lady is still trying to win the fight. She is throwing punches as if she knows she needs that knockout and is determined to get it. As the clock ticks away, so I think go Kerry Hill's chances though of any victory unless she comes up with a miraculous maybe one punch knockout she has knocked out one opponent in her four wins and at this point it doesn't seem like she's going to get it tonight but what a, an effort tonight what an incredible amount of heart she has shown us here tonight Final seconds of the fight, and I think you're going to hear it from this crowd. What an entertaining fight we have seen, even though it has been basically one-sided on the judges' scorecards. Naturally, Cindy Serrano throws her hands up in anticipated victory. So did Perry Hill, but I think for her it was more of, yes, I survived eight rounds of Cindy Serrano. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of action here for Black Village, we welcome the Dallas score totals. Let's go! John McKay and Robin Taylor both scored this about 80 to 72. Robert Perez scored this about 79 to 73. All for the winner by unanimous decision. And Lou! Exactly as I was saying, I figured you could probably give two of those scores, 80-72, which is exactly what happened, and another one, 79-73. It does not surprise me, although I don't know which round that could have been, although even though I had Terry Hill losing every single round, she performed so admirably that I got to tell you, even now, with her 4-23 and record, I would have her back as a promoter anytime on one of my cards.